Hello fellow tinkerers, welcome to tutorial 1b of the multi-material single mesh series. We are going to cover the material setup for both the mesh and the color picker widget. To do this we are going to create a material function that zooms in on the material texture using coordinates that our color picker widget will supply. You will see if I duplicate this texture that it is in fact our Sinti polygon farm texture. Okay, so we are going to go into our material folder. We are going to create a material function. We're going to call this mf underscore color picker. I'm just going to add one because I've already got one. Alright, so we are going to need inputs. So if you just right click, type input, it's a function input. Now this is going to be our text coordinate. We want a priority of zero and we need to, to be a two vector. Do another input. And this is going to be our zoom and it needs to be a scalar single value we want this to be priority one and these priorities are just going to be the order in which the pins are laid out on the outside of the function we can duplicate this we want this to be priority two this is going to be our U coordinate. We can duplicate this again. And this is going to be our V coordinate. The first thing we're going to do is to get our zoom we are going to divide our text coordinate by our zoom scalar value. We are going to need to add our other inputs. And these are our U and V coordinates. So we just need to append, append vector. And it's important that you have u and v in this order because that's the orientation of the vector so whatever's in the first position and the second position we're going to add that we want to click on the open space and you want to go expose to library we can just go color picker function just for description and lastly, before we go, we just need to set this priority to three. So just save. We are going to now oh, we'll copy that into our materials. We are going to go polygon farm, get the one A, copy that over. I'm just going to rename this to 1a underscore color picker so we can go into this we can hold down u and click for a text coordinate we can now drag off and choose our color picker this is the one i just made we are going to need three variables. Zoom is just going to be a constant. We are going to convert this to a parameter. We're just going to call this U so we can call out to it. And same with this one, V. And so what this does 
is up in the top left corner is 0 0.00 and you end up with 1 and 1 on the ends so I believe V is your vertical and U is your X X and Y and that's how we're going to pick our colors now you can go through and put in figures yourself uh, it would be a bit tedious and that's why I've implemented the color picker widget and so you can just select it easily and it will pass through the info from the color picker widget and straight into these inputs so now if you see go here it's zoomed in what we can do that was zero we've just put one and it shows a scale of one if we go to let's say two it's twice zoomed we could move it down a bit now uh, it's important to note that it will pick whatever is in the top corner when we zoom in so for example if I do my zoom we went 20 see it zooms in and if we go 25 you'll see it heads towards that top corner um, 250 is quite a lot and that'll bring you right into that square it might be just in between a transition of the colors so what we could do is just go in the Y or the V there you go and now we have a clean color but we wouldn't do this manually that's just to show you what it's doing again if I just zoom out 100 50 25 15 5 and 1 yeah. and so just note that you always will be going to that top corner so we're just going to set this default value save that now what we want to do is we want to duplicate this control D we're going to make this the widget because this here is what we're going to relate to and we have to have two separate materials um, that we're going to calculate on here and then use those coordinates to input on our actual material and this only takes in user interfaces so we've made our new material widget so it's going to be exactly the same the only thing we're going to do different is our output is going to be instead of surface it's going to be user interface now we just have to reconnect we don't have to worry about these um, they're not necessary anymore this is just the widget that you see when you open it up in game and it will have no relationship between this material and the material that gets applied to your assets we just created that one before and finally we want to edit our texture so we're just going to export our polygon texture as a BMP save So we only really want this bottom half and to do that we are just going to control C, control A, delete, control V, and we could save that as a BMP, come back to Unreal. We're going to go to our materials and we're just going to drag and drop and open it up srgb save close we're just going to have this selected and enter that do the same thing on this one we are going to set our default values to zero leave our zoom at 250 
Same with this one. Everything will be zero except for zoom. And there we have it. If you notice that in our texture, zero zero is this blue color. And there we go. We are all set up to use these materials. We'll be using them in the next tutorial. We'll call it tutorial two, where we do our color widget and the blueprints for that. All right, thanks.